Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about functions with their arguments and also a little bit about functions with multiple arguments, this naturally leads us to the next thing. What if I want to make that one square, but I want to make it multiple times? Sure, I can copy it and paste this line and paste it again, right? And then paste it again, so on and so forth. So for example, let's try having it pasted twice. I'm gonna remove these comments here. And um, just so you remember, this 50 goes in for the length. It replaces every part of the length with 50. This 90 goes for the angle. It replaces every angle with 90. That's how it works, okay? So let's go back real quick and simply uh, run this now, okay? So I'm gonna hit the shortcut key to run it. And you can see I said draw two squares and it did, yeah? But here is the concept, here's the most amazing concept in programming, which is the concept of doing things over and over again, also known as loops. So if I said, I want you to do 10 push-ups, that's like a loop, okay? And every time you do a push-up, I count one, two, three, four. And then once you hit 10, I stop automatically, okay? So a way to say that here is you can say for push up in range 10. So for each push up for 10 times, like do this. And this push up part, I can call it whatever I want. I can call it this, I can call it I. We'll just keep it simple and leave it at one letter I. And what we're gonna do is this part, all this part says is run something 10 times, okay? That's what that part essentially says. If I run that code on the left-hand side, if I show you what range of 10 gives me, it's actually, it gives me this. So when I do range 10, it won't really show you, it kind of hides what it gives you, but in reality, it gives you a list of uh, 10 numbers, okay? So we're gonna talk about more things like lists and integers and floating points in our uh, next video. But for now, I just want you to think of it like it gives us 10 things and so it runs 10 times. Okay, so if I did for i in range uh, 10 and I said print i, what actually happens is the first time in this list, uh, i, the first time you run through in this loop, i is zero. Then the next time, right, this range 10 is really this list here. So i is zero the first time, then it's one, then it's two, then it's three, then it's four. And each time what happens in the loop is the part that's indented inside of the loop, that's the part that runs over and over and over again. So what happens? The first time i is zero, we say print zero and we get the zero right here. Then we say i is one, so i is one over here and then it says print one, we get one over here. Then in the last one, uh, i turns out to be nine, so we print nine and then we get this nine over here okay that's a basic idea of how the loop works so the part that we want to we want to run over and over again we're going to put it inside of this loop notice the colon at the end very important and i'm going to put this part inside of the loop and i don't even need to put that i can just do this and i can say um i'm basically saying do this thing here draw a square four times. That's all I'm saying, okay? And I will replace this code uh, in the regular way without a loop and I'll prove it to you. Okay, so first let's run it like this. Dang, that was cool, right? That was really freaking cool. It just ran that four times in a row. Now, I can show you what I mean. Okay, and I'm gonna comment out these lines. And you can see it's gonna draw that same four squares that we just drew, okay, just like that. But by using a loop, your code gets a lot more clear. What if you didn't wanna run it four times? What if you wanted to run it one million times? Yeah, it would be a lot harder to write that out one million times, but it's really easy to write one million in here. Uh, I think that's one million. That's 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. That's actually 10 million. So 
there you go 10 million so this thing is gonna run 10 million times right if I ran it I'm gonna close it and really quickly because it's gonna keep running forever but you'll notice that oh uh, it just keeps overlapping on the same square and it's gonna do that 10 million times so if I went to sleep and woke up this will probably still be happening and then it'll still be happening after that <laughs> so let's exit that before um, something crazy happens okay so that's loops for you guys that is it for this video i will see you in the next video